What's up guys? So today in this video, I wanted to show you how to use that new feature that Airtable just added and it's the scripts that are in the marketplace. So these are scripts that are completely done for you. Just enter a few variables and I'm gonna show you how to use those, install them in your workplace. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna actually show you how to automate those. And if you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS and what we do is we help business owners, probably just like you, we help them optimize their information systems. So on the systems like Slack, Asana, Airtable, Zapier, and many more. And if you're interested in that, there's a link in the description to request a consultation with me or someone on my team. But without further ado, we'll get right into the video now. All right, so as you can see, we are in our Airtable database here, and I pulled up this YouTube Analytics one because I've just been playing around with this one because there's a new script in there that allows you to pull stuff from YouTube Analytics into your Airtable database. The one that I'm gonna be showing you is a lot simpler than that for the sake of helping you get started with these scripts in the Airtable marketplace. And I'm gonna show you that right now. So it's important if you're trying this out and you're following along with me as I go, you want to have a field in here called random. And this can be a number. There's a multitude of different field types that it can be. I'm gonna be using the numbers one and you can follow along using the same one. So once you're in your Airtable base, what you wanna do is you wanna come up here and click apps. Now I already have some dashboards open, but if I come in here and I'm starting from scratch, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click up here and I'm gonna click add a new dashboard. And for me, it'll say dashboard three and I'll just leave it as that. In dashboard three, what you're gonna do is if, say you already have apps open, you won't see this here, but you will see this up here. So you can click install an app. And once you click that, no matter where you click install an app, you'll probably see scripts and new. Now, if you're watching this later, you won't see the new, but you'll see scripts here. And right now there's these six, 12 scripts, I believe that are already preloaded in here. They're already ready to go. All you have to do is enter a few variables that Airtable request you enter and then these will be straight published into your Airtable base and you'll be able to use them whenever you want. Now the one I'm going to be showing you is this randomized values one. I will create a video later on how to import YouTube analytics but that's going to be a longer video and a longer process. But if you want to install the randomized values one here you just come up here and you click install and then you click install script and it'll give you a little bit of a description there but you won't need it if you're just watching this tutorial. And you can also then read this, and this gives you all of the field types. So if you wanna go back right now, or say you're already there, and you can change your field type to any one of these, and for simplicity, I'm gonna show you number. So I'm gonna pick my only table in here, and then I'm gonna pick the field that I just created that I told you guys about, so the random field. And once I click that random field, I'm gonna click run, and then I'm gonna enter a few more variables. So because this is a random number, Airtable wants to know what's the lowest number it can be, what's the highest number it can be, and then it'll ask you to run it. So for us, we're just gonna say zero, and then the highest, we're just gonna say 100. So it's pretty simple, and then you'll click yes, yes, and then if you click yes again, randomize this field from zero to 100, it'll run it, and then you can come back up here and click X. Now if I click X again to get out of the apps, You'll come back here and here and see that random it randomized all of these all of these data points and these are all purely random and we can do this many and many times again with all of those different field types that they allow us in there. So I hope that was really helpful. If you want to see another one, if you have a specific app script that you want to see set up, these should be very intuitive and very easy to be, to do with the templates that Airtable provided and just the simple inputs that they require so that you can use these apps in your Airtable database without coding whatsoever. I know it sounds scary to be scripting at first because scripting is like, that's a lot of code and most business owners, they don't need to worry about the code, but Airtable's made these super easy to use. So if you want them set up with your business and you don't wanna worry about this at all, you can click the link in the description. But right now, I'm gonna show you how you can do the automations. So once you have a script that's working just exactly how you want it, and it can work without any inputs and it, you just click run and it runs every single time and doesn't have any other inputs like it with those text box what you can do is you can come up here and click automations and when you click on automations you'll come up here and click new automation and it doesn't really matter for me what trigger i have in here but i just want to show you guys the action so for the action you can run a script so if you want to run these things on a schedule 
run it every time a record is created or really any of those triggers, you can do that. Now those are a little bit harder to do and I'm not gonna show that in this video, but there's multiple people like, I can mention Kuvan and many other people in the Airtable community that would love to help you out with your scripts and they're really skilled at scripting. So, so if you want help specifically on that, you can go look into them, but but thank you, I hope you had a great day. And if you like this video, you probably like this video right over here, which is now in the end screen. And it's a Update Records Airtable Automations tutorial. And I highly encourage you to go click that right now because you'll gain a lot of value from it and it'll probably open you up to more automations just like I just showed you with the running a script for an automation, but it, it'll be really useful. Update Records Airtable Automations, go click it now.